proving conjectures, deductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning is more formal and can be used to prove the behavior of a pattern in other circumstances. However, it takes real thinking to use it. It goes like this. I have already proved that a certain set of facts are true, and I can use those to prove a new fact. There may be some assumptions that are stated at the beginning of the proof that limit the circumstances under which it can be believed. For example, this, the proof I'm going to use below talks about even numbers. Even numbers we know we can find by just multiplying by 2, right? If I take 2 times 3, that's going to be 6. 2 times 4 is going to be 8. So anytime I multiply a number by 2, it automatically ends up being even. doesn't matter if the number that I multiply by 2 is odd or even. doesn't matter. It's always going to end up being even. However, the assumption that we're making, one of the assumptions that we're making, is that we could be working in base 10. Multiplying something by 2 may not work in base 3, base 4, base 5, hexadecimal, uh, binary. We're not sure. We'd have to test, we'd have to actually prove that first, that multiplying a number by 2 is always even. But this is something that's assumed in base 10. The new fact that you're trying to prove is called a postulate. And when you've proven it, it is called a conclusion or a theorem. Theorems form the old facts that can be used to create new proofs if you keep the same set of assumptions that were used in their own proof. So you have to like, always be working in base 10. We're always going to be working with geometry, for instance. So you can build on theorems and keep uh, proving new theorems. Conjecture. The sum, the addition, of any two odd or any two even integers is itself even. So we're trying to prove... We're proving this time with deductive reasoning. We're not just showing a few examples. We're going to show in every single case. Again, this, we're, the, the assumption we're making is that we're working with base 10. A possible proof. So we're going to start off. Given, let x and y be any two integers. That's fine. You can state that anytime. You're just using algebra. x is 1, y is a different one. Totally different numbers. 2x and 2y must be even. Multiplying by 2 always results in an even integer. There is the assumption that we're making, but it's fine because we're working in base 10. And we know that that always works. That's always been already been proven by somebody else. We don't have to do that. <clears throat> and this is the second part. 2x plus 1 and 2y plus 1 must be odd. Because if you take a number, you multiply it by 2, and then you add 1 to it, you're always going to get an odd number. Because you're starting, because 2 times the number is even. Good, yay. And then you add 1, and you're going to get a consecutive number that comes right after. That's always going to be odd. So we have 2x, 2x and 2y. That's the first part. This is number 2. And number 3 we'll do over here. So the sum of any two, the conjecture is the sum of any two odd or any two even integers is itself even. Even. Always even. Sum. Sum means addition. So for the first one, 2x and 2y, I can add those. 2x plus 2y. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do some algebra. Well, can I add x and y? No, nope, they're not like terms. However, there's something I can factor out here. They both have a 2. So I can actually factor out a 2, and I'm left with x plus y. <clears throat> well, look at this. It doesn't matter what x plus y is. x plus y could be an even number, could be an odd number, doesn't matter. As long as they're integers. We're dealing with integers, not decimals. Again, that's something I've stated. But if I multiply it by 2, the result is always going to be even, right? I know that because I'm multiplying by 2. Done. Let's look at the second part of the uh, conjecture. Any two, or the, I guess it's the first part, two odd numbers. <clears throat> so two odd numbers are 2x plus 1. And we're going to add that to 2y plus 1. Well, I can't add the 2x and 2y, but I can add the 1 and the 1. So I get 2x plus 2y, because those don't add, those don't mix. And 1 and 1 are 2. I can see again that I have a 2 common between everything. So I have a 2. I'm left with x plus y plus 1. Because I'm multiplying by 2, again, it doesn't matter what I'm multiplying by. This number inside the brackets could be anything. I mean, we already know they're integers because we stated x and y are integers. But as long as I'm multiplying by 2, the result, again, is going to be even. Great. So I've actually proven the conjecture. I've proven that the sum of any two odd numbers, right here, and the sum of any two even numbers, right there, is always even. So my theorem, or my postulate afterwards, would be therefore the sum of any two even numbers 
2x and 2y, or any two odd numbers, is an even number. So we've proven, proved that each, uh, that, that which we set out to prove. We now have a theorem. So this conjecture we can now use to prove something else. So hopefully that shows you how to go through a deductive, a formal deductive proof. Typically they use algebra. It's the best way to, to work uh, because you can, you can use let statements. X and Y can be this. X can be this. 2X can be this. 2X plus 1 can be an even odd number. So you can uh, work with stuff you know.